And then the author goes to the second power of the soul, the power of desire. The power of desire, the author says, has a few purposes. The purpose that the author mentions is that it, uh, the power of desire is used to maintain my body. Remember, we have a soul, we have a body. If it wasn't for desire, then we would ignore, we would neglect our bodies. Probably we would malnourish it. You know, why do I eat? Because I get hungry. This is a de desire. Why do I sleep? Because I have the desire to sleep. I have this need to sleep. Why do I do many of the things I do? Because I have a desire to do that. And many times we need these things that we desire. It's important to, you know, health, for example. Why do we keep our health? Because when you're healthy, you're comfortable. Now, your, your soul could care less if your body is, is comfortable, but obviously, if your body starts to malfunction, if it's not working properly, then the soul can't get what it, what it wants. So the power of desire is to make sure that you take care of your body. You keep it running. Another example, he says, to reproduce. You know, when we reproduce, of course, there is pleasure in that. There is desire in that. If it wasn't for that desire, maybe many people wouldn't reproduce. They would say, you know what? No, I don't want to reproduce. What's the point? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the author says, he placed desire in that act of reproduction in order for the human race to continue. So that's one purpose of desire. Another purpose is to test us. Now, obviously, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have created us just aql, we would have been just like the angels. And I mentioned the hadith in the previous sessions where the imam says that Allah created angels and they are intellect they are pure intellect pure aql. he created the animals and they are pure desires no intellect the human being is a mix of intellect and desires now why did allah place desires one reason is to test you because sometimes we desire the haram we have to learn how to control our desires if there was no desires we'd be like angels we would just worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there would be nothing tempting us to disobey allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so because life is a test there has to be the desire, the desire for money, the sexual desire, the desire for power, the desire for, you know, many of the foods and sleep and, and, and just possessing uh, many things in the, in the dunya. This makes the test a little more difficult. And as we know, tests have to be somewhat difficult. So this is the second power of the soul, the power of desire. And as we saw, it serves certain purposes, good purposes.